Hey guys, welcome to another Bluefin Hangout special unboxing for the Voltron Soul of Chogagin. I don't think I said that right, but close. Justin, how are you today? <laughs> you were close. My brain's not working. I know, I had that problem in the last video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, no complaints. I'm I'm very excited to be here. Thank you for having me. And it's important to know, this is your personal <laughs> it life. Is. It is. I'm yeah. so excited. I, I got a home last week and I was like, yeah, I'm open. I'm like, we should do an unboxing. <laughs> So in the comments, we love it when you tell us how you want to see something posed or displayed or done. Mm -hmm. Clearly, we're not going to be doing drop tests and throwing against the wall for Justin's personal items. Right. So. If it were David Clark's, sure. Oh, yeah. We, <laughs> then we oh, check it against the wall. <laughs> we put it on our railroad tracks. We do all of that. Yeah. So, oh, so yeah. Nice. So comments, make sure you let us know what you want to see out of this. We'll do a complete unboxing. We'll uh, have them in lion mode. We'll try to put them in robot mode. We'll try to do everything we can with it. Uh, so, yeah. just We'll just questions. try. We'll try <laughs> But we're also here with AJ, the pose master extraordinaire. Would you say that you are a poser? I am the biggest poser. Such a poser. <laughs> oh, man. Such a poser. How are you doing, AJ? I'm doing great. I can't wait to see uh, all the stuff that comes in this amazing little figure. But, and you know, you and so now is uh, the Gold Lion Voltron, is it in stores now? in warehouse now <laughs> <laughs> will it be going to stores soon though? yeah 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 uh, every all the different retailers should be getting theirs uh post haste um so very excited about that to answer carl michael pajariti's question oh Pajarito. yeah 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 yeah. so obviously with shipping delays and port problems uh it got here uh and then it's got to go from here to all the various retailers gotta get so out of get truck. <laughs> yeah then i'll go from that retailer to your house mm -hmm. it's a process <laughs> All right. Well, before we get an unboxing, why don't we? Uh, I know AJ's a youngin, so he probably didn't watch the original Voltron live. But uh, Justin, what is your origin tale with Voltron? Did you watch it as a kid? I did. Uh, in fact, it was on before I went to school in the morning, which was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember buying, uh, you know, the original version of this uh, at this sort of outdoor swap meet in San Diego. It was all <laughs> brand new, and I picked it up, and it was so cool. It was heavy, it had a flap that basically that opened up, and you could see all the lions in mm -hmm. their um, in the packaging, and it looked really cool. Uh, my parents bought it for me. I took it home and played with it. I had it all the way through college. So like 1985 or whatever, all the way through to like 2002. Then when I came home to do some laundry from school, I picked it up and then, then, I, then I dropped it. <laughs> oh, you, it did your, you did your own drop test. <laughs> right, right. I know. And because it's it's it was die cast, it's really heavy. And I just kind of forgot that it weighed that much. And I picked it up and then it <laughs> literally just fell right out of my hand and it landed on the black line and this little yellow oh, ears no. popped off his his face is tucked into the mouth of the black line that came off i, I love that it survived <laughs> child justin for all of those years and you came back as an adult and broke it i know child terrible. justin's more safe <laughs> it was terrible i felt like such an idiot and then um we got a reissue of this figure uh back in 2019 and that was actually like my first day at uh at bluefin so it was kind of cool I kind of relived the whole moment of the dropping <laughs> and the slow motion. No, it was falling. So now you're going to be very scared with this one. Yeah, 100%. Uh, be very delicate. But uh, yeah, I mean, I watched cartoon every day. I thought it was fun. They, they kind of end the same way every time. Like it's <laughs> it's danger, right? That Prince Zarkon or whatever his name is, he shows up and he drops a bad monster around and then mm -hmm. they they jump into the lions and they get their, their booties kicked for about 15 minutes. And then they're like, wait a minute here's a cracker jack idea <laughs> what if we just you know come together and form voltron and then we'll beat it and then it's like one swipe with the sword the monsters in half and then credits so i yeah. know that plot that's like every random plot of like my childhood <laughs> i know power rangers is a lot like exactly that too exactly like that. Yeah. And it would drive me crazy in voltron when they wouldn't use the sword right away i'm like just get the sword out right like they try to fight it with like their other weapons or like hand to hand i'm like just get the sword out and then finally they go like <laughs> and then they kill him like one shot yeah. like, we should have done it from the start yeah they, yeah. they never learned yeah. what about you aj what's your uh what's your history with voltron so i saw like replay video like episodes every now and then again it's not in the correct order or anything like that just whatever was on tv and i remember i wanted it so bad because at that time you know it's like oh it's like power rangers and i i remember getting one and mom was like here's your little power ranger thing i'm like it's voltron <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but like yeah. that's how parents are you know like yeah i only recognize it for the as the one ip like, right right it's a whole separate different thing so now as an adult i'm like i know exactly the difference I know all the things about that we're not calling it like that but you know this this looks good and yeah, it looks great oh, it's funny you say it too because i remember when when the the commercial started making the rounds for uh -huh. power rangers i was like 
What's this Voltron? Oh, yeah, like, what is the, like older people are gonna go like you know what is this car, what is this a Voltron looking thing? Yeah. Like, some other person nowadays like what is that Power Ranger <laughs> robot? Because yeah. that was already like you know eighth grade or uh, so. So I was like, what is a Power Ranger? Why is this? Why is this not Voltron? I don't understand. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know if, uh, Stephen, if you want to get a good shot of the back of the box where it has, Ooh, there we go, yeah, all kinds of I've been cool. I've staring action. at the back of that box for all the little words and all the images. Yeah, it has a lot of descriptions as far, and they call them space lines on the back. Of the yeah, box. whoa, space lines. It has like, yeah. like over on the other side of Justin. It's got like a picture of all the weapons that comes away. Yeah, and they all fit in the different lines, mouths. Yeah, that's actually the really cool part is that you can do that. Yeah, and then it's got that cool stand that shows um, you can have all the. All the weapons just sort of mounted on display. Yeah. Is this cool. just like a sleeve for this the box? Is, yeah. So we can go ahead and get started. Well, while you're opening the box, I want to ask you, how how do you think you'll display it? Do you think you'll display it? Lions? Robots? Um, so I think... Mix it up? It's, a, it's actually a really good question. So I'll probably have him as Voltron uh, in fully assembled on mm -hmm. display. Uh, but the Blitzway one has this cool display for the lions in the lion mode. But they're at the stand... Shows like a, the color arch of each of the the lions, and it looks really cool. That's so awesome. I might do Blitzway as lions, and then the Tamashi one as full blown Voltron Defender of the Universe. I have a right. friend who's like really into Voltron, so he always buys two so he can have both. Like, oh man, versions of him. Like man, that's that's pretty hefty on the wall. But I'm I'm happy that you're happy. Yeah, yeah. Justin's uh, he's going full bore into Voltron. Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel bad after breaking mine, but I have to. So that's my uh. What do you uh -huh. call it? My penance. Yeah, I remember as a kid, you were you were the cool kid if you had the Voltron, and I did not. I had Transformers right. and Nintendo. I, can, I just want to say, like, just even on the box. sleeve right here, like, right on this sleeve, there's really cool art, like Voltron, I believe, and then on this one's got the lions. Oh, separate? It's yeah. cool. Looks good. Yeah. Let's put this down here for now. Yeah, I remember okay. it was one of your first days, Justin. And you're like, what should I do? I'm like, I don't know. Go take a picture of this Voltron thing. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> what? Voltron? Oh, my God. I'm like, we got Voltron? So this first plastic has basically the stand that all the... Uh, you've got to assemble it. Mm -hmm. It sort of creates like a like a stair step type thing <laughs> to yeah. put all the different weapons on. It's uh, basically like a like a cascading effect. Got this cool little symbol right here for yeah. it. So if you want to go ahead and crack that open and start putting that together. All right. Oh, and we have all the cool weapons for said pedestal. <laughs> yeah. It looks awful silly with an empty pedestal. Obviously, there's like the sword, there's different cannons. Some of the lions have like um, cool blades that they put in their mouths. You might want to remember where each thing goes with a f <laughs> with like your memory. We'll have to come back yeah. to this video. So, okay, Steven's taking pictures of it. Right? Yeah, there you go. We'll just take a, a quick snapshot because it's obviously going to have to go back in the box. Yeah, you guys have like, do you guys ever have issues if you put something away with so many accessories? Like, where did this go? Yeah. I have that problem all the time. It's kind we'll of figured out later. Yeah. Uh, then of course there's instructions. Instructions. I mean, who needs them, right? Are there stickers on the front? What was on the? Front? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. I'll, I'll grab them. Don't want to lose oh. those. One through five. I'm the. Yeah, I'm the worst when it comes to decals. <laughs> How can you be the worst if I'm the worst? I don't know, man. It's tough because, like, even like. Um, like Transformers always came with like the different sizes for decals, you know, like sticking on like the Decepticon or the Autobot logo or something. I'm like, uh, I can't, I can't do this right now. <laughs> oh, I think we know who this is. How to trigger dress in the office? Call the call the Lions Tigers. Yeah, <laughs> hey, Brian, it's our buddy Brian. Yeah, so we trigger David Clark all the time on our live streams. He's like, ah, oh, triggered. And then last week when this was available for me to purchase, um, uh, Brian just kept calling them Tigers. He did it like four times, and I'm like. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> it says lies. Go lying. There's lies on the box. We will not be friends anymore <laughs> if you insist on behaving like this. Uh, and one, one thing that Tomashi does is um, really well is that the packaging is always secure. Uh, you can see here that there's this uh, cool molding that goes over the lions. And, and this is what I remember, actually. Um, in the, the original box, I remember it being like an open window uh, box where you were able to see all the lions. And I thought that was really cool. It's like, whoa, look at how neat that is. And we appreciate Gamer Proverbs giving everyone the education on the differences between Go Lion and Voltron. Ooh. He says, all new dialogue edited out. They edited out the more violent scenes and remixed the audio into stereo format. Awesome theme song, he says. Yeah. Check it out yeah. later. 
How you doing with that? that the one that's like, I want to be the very best. I got no, this I far. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting there. I got this. And I have no idea what this last part is. Oh, here. I have the instructions. Which part? Just this one piece. I'm looking at this box. It seems hollow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So that's the part. Always oh, keep your go. instructions booklet. <laughs> oh, so what is that part for? It's the extra part. You get, oh, it's just like when you put page. something together, you got all those extra screws. <laughs> and then every time you put it together a second time, you have more extra screws. Oh, it talks, uh, it, it's like a shelf. So it actually goes in here. Oh, I see. It's like a tray. For like when you're an arms dealer and you got to whip out <laughs> yeah, the big yeah. guns. Like I, want, I want that ring <laughs> yeah. on that shelf. Well, let me just pull that out for you. <laughs> but one thing that's worth noting is that this instruction booklet is actually really colorful and lively. And it's, got some art in there, it's very like. detailed. Yeah. Yeah, it has all the different like uh, lines. All, all my instruction booklets are it's black always like and black white. and white. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> in, usually like in Japanese, and you're mm -hmm. like, I don't really know what that's saying, but it's actually a really beautiful book. So that's cool. Then of course we have ooh, uh, yeah, Nike. It definitely that's the shield, and then the sword is at the top right there. Yeah. Oh, then it also has their weapons that go in their their mouths, and they're color coded, which will make things a lot easier. <laughs> 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 they're color coded, but they go with the color that they're supposed to go with, right? Because it's like the pilots always wore, they wore different colors than their mm -hmm. lines, right. So right? Keith, Keith, who piloted the black line, he had a red uh, jumpsuit, yeah. whereas like Princess Allure, she had a pink. She one, had right? pink, yeah. Mm -hmm. There is no pink. His was green. Uh, Hunk was yellow, but then uh, Lance, he wore blue. He wore a blue jersey <laughs> yeah. or whatever and jumpsuit, <laughs> and he got into a red line. So. <laughs> As a kid, hard, I got super yeah. confused at that. Right. <laughs> How hard would it have been to color coordinate? Right. Very. And then here's the, the crazy sword. That is, in fact, a crazy sword. A lot of action. It's... And look, it's even got like, a little hilt guard to protect the, the robot. The little, oh, <laughs> the little lion mouth. <laughs> Wanted to make sure that these robot lions didn't hurt themselves. Yeah. Safety first, right? All right. So, does anyone have a preference on which line to look at first? Uh, no, I think, uh, I think you go dealer's choice, whatever color you want. Sure. Ooh. Ooh. Dealer's choice. As I say that, it's going to be. Okay, you like the blue line, blue, though, right? Red, yeah, yeah, That was your jam. I want to be the blue line. Like, I want to be the leg. <laughs> Nobody attacks the leg. They always right. aim for the torso. That's true. You would be the safest, but don't they all go into like one central <laughs> yes. area? Oh, that's, that's Power Rangers. <laughs> that's the Zords. Let's see. I think in Voltron, they all stay in their individual lines when they. They, they, they combine. I always thought that would be really weird because then like, if <laughs> you're like all the way down here, you always gotta look up or something. You're like, oh my goodness, I probably should kick now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right, so, nice. so here's the blue line. He's all tucked away like he's getting ready to pounce. Uh, of course, you know when we transform, he's gonna. that's ultimately what this thing is going to be for that's its leg. Pouncing that doesn't look good for your. That looks, right. doesn't look good for your neck. It's a downward dog. <laughs> <laughs> downward lion. Yeah. Uh, but you can hear the ratcheting. Uh, I don't want to be too gentle with it, but the mouth opens and closes. You are a sucker for ratcheting. I am. <laughs> what were we playing with the other day? The, oh, the uh, Pac-Man. Pac yeah, I'm just like... <laughs> it's the coolest toy ever. Uh, the tail should... There we go. Flip. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. I mean, you can't be a lion without a tail. Oh, did you hear that? I heard it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Some ASMR. Can we get right Justin uh, a ratchet. <laughs> yeah, they sell those. They sell those little ratchet sets. Let's we'll get you one. Yeah, <laughs> just play with it. Yeah, then we, we don't have to break this. <laughs> we can have him sitting like a nice little kitty. There you go. What a pretty, what a pretty kitty. Like, like a little, uh, like I as pot. There you go. Yeah, that's like always one thing. Like when it comes to like some uh, collectible figures too, is like I want to pose it this way, and always somehow it's either. For action figures, it's always kneeling on one knee, or in this case, can they stand, sit up like cats? Yeah. Now, the yeah. lions don't have names, which I think is a missed opportunity. So, uh, chat, why don't you tell us the name of the blue lion? Keep it, keep it, keep it clean. The blue one. The blue one. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Hey, my boy, blue. Yeah. Blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. We had a request for the black lion. So, we're oh, done with the blue lion. Sure. All right. Is that is that how a cat would? Sit. I've never had a cat. Cool you've, had, you've had many cats. You've I've had sit, two right? cats. <laughs> Lost them both. Not as like uh, they passed away. But Midnight was 19 when he finally passed away. He was amazing. Kenny Denny wants to know: Is it metal? It metal and plastic. Yeah, it's got some weight to it. There is a good amount of weight. This is a good uh, 
paperweight right here. If you need to hold, you know, your documents. <laughs> yeah, if you're in a windy office and you just, you know, your papers just are right flying everywhere. Yeah. That's, that's actually happy. I was not expecting that. That's how uh, Adult Justin broke original Voltron. Right, and I think this weapon... If you want. It's pretty good, Justin. You actually, uh, someone had just asked, do the Lions have individual, individual weapons too? They right do. as you picked it up, as, as you cut. Yeah. He foresaw it. Oh, man. Like that. Having a hard time opening it, though. <laughs> hey, you want me to open when you get the black? Yeah. So get this T looking one. Blades exposed, so be careful. So, so the head's like on a ball joint and everything like that. It can swivel, go up and down. Up and down, all around. <laughs> Let me see the tootsie rope. To the left, to the left. Oh yeah, so the black line, he's a he's a bit of a chubby bunny. I remember he's <laughs> he's very chesty. Chesty make chesty pants over he's here. He's been working out on his chest. <laughs> this is the weapon for the blue one. Oh yeah, so and then these are not as sharp. Good. <laughs> and then there should be some sort of pegging system to where it can go yeah. into the roof of the mouth, I think. So like on underneath there's a little peg. So then right here, this little gray part goes right yeah. there. Bam. Because he doesn't have teeth. Yeah, he now has a blade in his mouth. <laughs> Careful, that lion's packing. <laughs> this is one. That one's standing up. He's like, rawr. It's like look a at, circus lion. Look at me, I got a face in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, no. If Justin displays him like this, I would not be surprised. <laughs> Can you imagine people just coming in the house and they see Voltron, just all the lions just chilling, standing up? Doing a conga line or yeah. something? Now we're talking. Like we Gloria Stefan in the background. There you go. Like this. And I feel like there was a, an extra element to their hips. Like they can go in or out a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering that wrong, but snap. Mm -hmm. I feel like they came out just a tick to add to the articulation. But uh, and then the, he obviously has the wings too because cats can fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can fly now. Yeah. But he also has a little tail, a little wag wag. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Kenny, you can pre-order them, uh, you know, wherever uh, Tamashi items are typically sold. Um, you know, they're maybe hard to get. because uh, I, I do think Big Bad still has them available for pre-order. So if you go to Big Bad Toy Store, uh, as of yesterday, I believe I still saw them available. Ooh. Well, let's take a yander here while you're playing with your lions here. It's not a euphemism. Don't, don't, don't snort, Steve. <laughs> it's not becoming of you. I just the tigers. Tigers. Uh, it is on Big Bad. Uh, the, you have the, it has a pre-sale, uh, so yeah, or pre-order. Uh, so yeah, so you can get it on Big Bad. They also have the vehicle version, the Diruger, um from Vehicle Voltron. That is uh, currently up there as well. And you can also get the Blitzway. But the Blitzway is a that's a big one. Can't exactly. wait to do the unboxing of that oh, one. Man. Yeah. So uh, what's the what is Big Bad selling this one for? Like three uh, three three forty nine ninety nine um, for this one. Three fifty nine ninety nine for Oops. the Diruger Vehicle Voltron. And of course, the Blitzway is the six ninety nine ninety nine. Cool. Uh, so don't get scared. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I just broke it, but his, <laughs> his foot did come off, but it popped right back on. I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Good to know. This one yeah. is a lot heavier too. Like they they went from you know went heavier, but I assume this one just weighs a little bit less than this one. Yeah, it's but, interesting because you know the, the the red one coming out's even smaller than the blue one. So mm -hmm. it's, it is you know as a kid you think they're all the same size. So it's interesting to. You know, it makes sense. One's the body, one's the arms, and stuff like that. He's got, he's got weapons. <laughs> um, and then I remember these being projectiles, the heads. Like when I was a kid, you could mm -hmm. press a button and they would shoot off. Do yeah, these like, ones do that anymore? I think the fist ones can. Yeah, so, he's, a, he's, a, he's oh, a fist. Oh, okay. I don't know. I always see, I saw this and I'm like, oh, yeah. nope, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So it does pop off. Wow. I thought I remember being like a projectile. Pew, pew. You have to do, you press the yellow. I, I just pulled it off. Oh. <laughs> Does it feel like there's a spring in there? No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but you can see that there's the joint here because this is ultimately going to be the, when we put it together, this will be the elbow. This one has the most articulation yeah. on its body. So when the gamer was... proverb says, I prefer the original Voltron series of the 80s. I'm assuming he means the Netflix one. We were oh, just yeah. talking about that. <laughs> Oh, so here, so here's what I was talking about. I was, remember how I was like, I feel like the hips came out a little bit. So on the, at least on the arm lines, yeah. uh, the legs actually can go in for when he's in his robot form, uh, and then pop out for when he's a little kitty cat. 
Yeah. Cool. Yeah. They thought of everything. I, th I thought I was misremembering that. I'm like, maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> and <laughs> that's not a thing. <laughs> they spared no expense. Yeah. So. But no, he's cool. And he can do the same thing. He can he can sit and chill and have a good time. And then his tail is a little bit different because this is the piece that's going to be uh, inserted in for mm -hmm. his arm effect. All right. But very cool. And then that came up. I'll let you play with him. Cool. Actually, quite a few comments of people liking uh, that also are into the uh, the clicking. Oh, it's so yeah. incredible. <laughs> like that. It feels good. ASMR. Is that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do that all day long. Do a little ASMR with just a little clicks right there. Yeah. Click, click, oh, click, see? Click. These ones do it too. The hips pop out. Like Shakira, what? the hips don't lie. Oh, baby, do you attack guys? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> see? Oh, they do. Cool. Me gusta. See? You're so adorable. <laughs> and then his. I feel like this pops up too, but maybe I'm crazy. He's got a cannon on his back. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's ready to fight. And it, oh, it moves too. It's like a mortar. Yeah, it's one of the it big. Goes up, down. And then his tail. So all so far the the tails can waggle. They're like on a ball joint, I believe. Mm -hmm. So they can move, have some mobility. This one too. They wiggle, waggle. Yeah, it's the wig, wig. Oh, look at that! And the shoulders in the front too come out. What? What? Oh, it does. The more you one. know. <laughs> Yellow lion for the win. Yeah, this was piloted by Hunk, at least in the American version that oh, I saw. Yeah, I wonder if it's called in Japan. Someone tells me it's not called Hunk. <laughs> we should guess. <laughs> Play a fun. That'll be a fun game here. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the Japanese names, and you tell me what what lion they piloted. You're better at posing, but he's also a leg, so he's gonna have the <laughs> the face plan. Go, that's exactly how to display it. <laughs> Yellow lion. <laughs> yeah. We're getting there though. We got one left. There you go. Gotta have like it's just like it's spurs or something. Yeah. Like, keeps extra. Balance. And then we got the green. <laughs> this was Pidge. Did you watch the Netflix uh, Voltron? I did. They were turning out seasons pretty quick. They were. Yeah, I think I got down to like one season and then forgot all about it. <laughs> all right, that's a fun game. What care? Uh, let's see, Akira Kagane. Which line do you think he pilots? I got you. I'm gonna just go straight with the blue one. Nope, he's the black line. He's he's a Japanese Keith. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see. I did not know that. Uh, Asamu uh, Kuragane. I'm gonna get this right. Red it's line. The, it's the blue line. Uh, it's Lance, the red line. Right, one day what do I win? Get... <laughs> All right, get back. <laughs> Hiroshi Suzy Ishi. Uh, third time's a charm. It's the blue line. <laughs> it's the yellow. Uh, it is. It's Pidge who does oh, that's the, the green. green line. You both yeah. are wrong. <laughs> One All of right. these days. <laughs> uh, Suyoshi Sedao. So we've done red, black, green. So I have 50-50. I'm still going with the blue line. <laughs> Okay, I'll go with the yellow. Hunk the yellow line. All right. Yeah, <laughs> five five. And this one's gonna be easy. Princess Fea. Oh, there you go. There you, you wanna you wanna be right this time? Yeah, yeah. We're going with the blow. Okay. <laughs> Took you long enough. So some getting I don't know. I'm having I personally am having a hard time dealing with whatever is on their back. I mean it's nothing. That's something. It's one of those things where, like in video games where you think it's got it. <laughs> you right. think it's something, but it's There's nothing. There's a secret here. I know it. <laughs> Let me find it. Always got to have the instructions handy. Well, maybe if you use the, uh, maybe if you use the weapon, you'll be able to, to kind of pry it open. Oh, maybe. There was also yeah, see, a, a Sven, Sven Holgersen. Sven Jolly. No. <laughs> he was uh, <laughs> he was Takahashi uh, Shin uh, Shir Gogan. Voiced by Michael Bell. It's Tobin Bell. He played Jigsaw. <laughs> no, it's different. It's a different guy. It's a different animal, you know. Yeah, so maybe give me one of these little prying pieces. Oh, you can yeah, extend the neck right out. Boom. Yeah, because it comes yeah. off. So then he's got his little cannon, too. So you just need tools. You had the tools, you had the talent. Could have used the sword right off the bat. <laughs> and then all of, all of their mouths move, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. And then they, it looks like they have a robotic tongue that is also cannons. <laughs> At least his is. See, so, yeah. yep. No, this one has the cannons in the mouth. Yeah. Let me borrow that 
tool again. A tool again, <laughs> the, the shield. <laughs> there we go. So you can go pew pew pew. Get them. This is exactly how I remember them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cats, uh, they have their own way of doing things. Like those, he's got like a chair or something. If, a, if it fits, I sit. Uh, okay, so you want to do the, the robot move? That is a, a challenge, and I'll let you handle that. Oh, great. This is your, uh, this is your Voltron. Sure. Just have to, you guys can talk while I figure this out. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah. I always seem to like struggle every time it comes like, oh, combine all of them. All right. Yeah. I, I don't know how far I can get with this one, but after like you know like one pass through, I'm like, okay, I got this. I I was being dumb about it. Right, and I like the I like how the villains of Ultron are from the planet Doom. It says <laughs> it says everything you know about them right then. From right. the planet Doom, there's no there's happy Goomba. <laughs> this is also where the finale of Ready Player One takes place. There's a, um, was it? Okay, I'm so glad that I'm remembering this. So they have uh, these opening doors, uh-huh. and then the arms can actually. Okay, I took his little hands tuck away. In. And hide. Oh man, have you ever put together the, the Megazord? The Power Ranger yeah. Megazord? It took me like an hour and a half to. <laughs> <laughs> I just like... couldn't get the chest to just do what I needed it to do, man. I was like, just come together. What's your problem? Do you I know think... who the main villain of the Voltron Go Lion? Do you remember his name? I just remember like a Prince Zarkon or something. So there's but... a King Zarkon. King Zarkon. King that's what it is. His, his son is the main villain, Prince Lotor. Lotor. There you yeah, go. Lotor had a thing for. Was it the old lady that's like, Wah, I'm old and I'm, I want Voltron? I don't think so. No. <laughs> there was a lady that was like that, though, right? That lady? Like, yeah. yeah, she was like, what are you going to do, Prince? <laughs> witch, witch Hagger. I'm that's her name? Said, yeah. Hag- that was Hagger a spot-on impression. The one responsible the for creating the RoboBeast Zarkon uses. Nice. The more you know. The more you know. You know it's going to be a history lesson <laughs> on Go Lion Voltron. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. So then this goes like so, that. Yeah. Got a lot of questions about like the durability of and not like how the paint and the plastic. How how does it feel? So it for, yeah, for me, every time you know you get something where it's this shiny, you know you want to be careful because you know you might scratch it. And then for me, any small like blemishes, I will never forget it, and I get upset with myself. Like I think I have like one finger like. Just a little part just snapped because it fell off my shelf. I'm like, I'll never forget it, even though I never look at it. But for this, it's good. I, I like the durability for it. I like the paint. Again, it's just me trying to... I would be very careful going with this, but the paint looks really good. You know? Yeah. Each piece is its own separate part. Toku Texas yeah. Cosplay says, Voltron over Megazord. Don't at me. I won't in a million years. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'm okay with your decision. <laughs> That's a good question. Are the instructions in Japanese or English? Uh, the Japanese instructions with, are in Japanese, pictures? but the pictures <laughs> are the pictures in English. The pictures are in English. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, you have your your image is showing you how to ultimately do it, and there's fun little arrows and and swoopy swoops. Uh, but ultimately, the text is in Japanese. Oh. Then Double X Nike wants to know how much is this? Um, you know, it, it retails for three fifty. Uh, it's available for pre-order where Tomashi Nation items are sold. Uh, as Justin mentioned earlier, it is up for sale on uh, pre-order at BBTS Big Bad Toy Store uh, and other fine online retailers. So get one. Yeah, whatever you prefer to go shopping. <laughs> Hagrid yeah. is the old witch. Thank you. Lotor loved the ladies. <laughs> Which Hagar had her devilish cat. He did love the ladies. Uh, if you scratch it, if you scratch it, what's, what's this? Let me read this. What is it? If you scratch it, it'll just be battle damage. You totally did that on purpose. So there you go. You mess it up. You mess I'm, it I'm up. all for battle damage. Oh, man. I like my I'm... Voltron off the factory floor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm kind of on that. Like, as much as I will accept battle damage, that means I want to have to make everything else battle damage. <laughs> right. But I don't think I have it in me to do that. I'm okay with battle damage. I, like if you're playing baseball, you don't want to be the guy with the clean jersey. That's true. Then you didn't work for a living. Your jersey can be clean, but your pants got to be filthy. If your mom doesn't look at your pants and say like, "What did you, did even you play? do?" Yeah, then um, <laughs> you, you didn't really play right. Yeah. Hey, Mike's monsters is in the house. Hey, Mike. Hope hey. you're having a fantastic Thursday. <laughs> you didn't want to help me out here. <laughs> nope that that one was. Uh, like, I got the arms ready. <laughs> They got the hands. <laughs> That's funny. 
That's exactly how I remember the yellow lion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hunk. Oh, and he's open. I remember that too. He's yeah. got like actually a little. Did you already open up his face? None, actually. At least I thought they did. Open the face. Like it's a Nicolas Cage movie. Maybe I'm gonna break it. Well, <laughs> you know, that's also something too. You're like, man, it looks like it can, it's it can okay. do something. You can, and it's then your like, person. Right, you break it. And then you break it, and I'm like, oh, I remember. Why did I think that? <laughs> what do the instructions say? Don't, don't worry. Well, I don't about want you to break it because you'll be sad. I don't want you to be sad. Yeah. I felt like his face opened. I know the original one did at least. Yeah, the pictures aren't showing him doing it. Uh, then we'll let's yeah. go say it does not he open. Do, it. do not try to attempt to open yeah. this part. But his ears opened up and he had little guns. Yeah. To pew pews. At least I remember it that way. Oh, and then when you're putting the robot together, to, uh, squeeze the arms, the shoulders back inside. Mm -hmm. It's important. Yeah. Otherwise, they just stick out and they'll like catch on each other and they'll trip. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> right. I see Brian and Scott outside and they're talking about Voltron. Yeah, they like the Voltrons. Two. All right. All right. So then we can go like a these. Uh-huh. Gotta put his socks on and his shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the most satisfying part too, even like in any uh robot transformations. Like, all right, once I put these these legs on, we right. got the he's got the big feet. Once you hear that satisfying click, and you're like, oh, it's uh -huh. the clicking sound. And you're like, well, how do I get them out now? <laughs> I like in uh, some instructions, there's just like these two little triangles that make it look like there's a noise. And then you know, like, oh, that's how I know there's supposed to be a click noise. If I didn't, if I don't see it on the instructions and I hear a click, I must have done something wrong. Hey, Nike, yeah, the shield's pretty durable. And AJ, AJ's been futz, futzing with it for a little while. But yeah, I don't, it's. I mean, anything can break. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, just, like, but if you treat it right, you know, you're not tossing it like a. I heard that. <laughs> that was a successful click. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Uh, there is a, a notch on his shin right here. It's this little gray notch. Uh huh. Uh, so that's actually going to be connecting with the piece that's in his leg. That's how you get it and safely the, and secure. That's the click that you hear. That knowing his boots don't come off. Yeah. That terrifying click sound that you heard. <laughs> oh, man. Is the sound uh, of success. The boots with the fur. And as far yeah. as the sh the shield goes, it's all real durable, like right here on the base. But I will say, you know, this part can, you know, might be something for you to be careful with. Because I know sometimes putting additional weight on something you didn't mean to can break it. And, you know, you don't want that. But this part here. Like all the base, good stuff. You got the green line. Is the green line in the right arm? Uh, the green it's line the is his left arm. Yeah, this is it. It's Voltron right here. <laughs> Getting there. Getting and there. of course, like all good transformation, the face is always last. That's true. Hold nobody on, does. This. Nobody does it early. There's something that you have to do that makes it click. Hmm. I don't even know what that comment means, Nike. Uh, what did he say? He said, "He wants us to put the feet somewhere." <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I don't think, I don't think he, he's a robot. He doesn't have that part. Oh man, I like it coming there together. We go. Oh, it's so shiny looking. It's so scary. <laughs> I will say, I do like this silver. It's now, are you more or less chrome. scared because it's your personal one? If it was a sample, you'd be like, ah, I got click, 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 click. Here you go. Oh, there you go. And then finally, with the cat face. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even know. I heard a click. I don't even know what you did. Uh, his hip oh, his waist? extends. Yeah, his yeah. waist. Oh. Yeah. His hips don't lie. <laughs> he is, he is an older gentleman. He's, you know. Pulling and, in the face. Oh. And all form the head. Nice. There you go. There is Voltron. In all of his glory. Do we have a ruler? <laughs> Where's where is the ruler? Yeah, where's your ruler? You always have your ruler just every every time I get worried, all <laughs> I was gonna say it just happens to appear. Yeah. <laughs> magic. Yeah, he's in my little pocket. <laughs> uh, I can't see how he's how's he looking? Is he straight? Yeah, he's straight ish. It looks great. Look at that sheen and shine off the yeah, lights. Yeah, that chrome looks... Oh. It's in a limbo Ooh. contest, Justin. <laughs> okay, there you go. He's taller than a ruler. Just there about. you go. Close. 
There you go. 11, 11 and a half. I don't know what that says. Yeah, you're you probably like 11 and a half. You're over 12 with the wings. Let me turn around so I can see. Oh, there's a whole yeah. different face for him. So his head's at about 11 inches, and then the wings obviously go up. He's got a second Another face. half inch or so. He does. He's got like a yelling face. Oh, oh my gosh. He's got an angry oh, face. You can swap that stresses it, so me out. Like... <laughs> 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 you can swap it from, uh, as I'm assuming it's his neutral face, then you have this screaming one. That's cool. So uh, I know AJ demonstrated that there was a peg in the mouth of, I think it was the blue one that you were yeah. playing with. So uh, the red one has that as well. So um, if you grab the really big sword, his yeah this guy there is a peg right here on the it's hilt blue, yeah. and then that'll go inside the mouth of i don't know if you can see that from there but you can see there's a little ridge right there that's the peg that's going to go into the mouth of mm -hmm. the red line yeah because everything line. else is like a girl is like a gray color peg and this one just blue a lion peg. rojo <laughs> yeah como se dice lion in espanol <laughs> sure go. Leon. Leon rojo <laughs> Ooh, AJ, I can't see. I will give you more space. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not you. I'm just like, do you need more light? Can't see what I'm doing. You got to get one of like those little uh, flashlights like on your head. A little head lantern like yeah. when you go camping? Uh, did you see sort of a handle to put on the shield? So I look like a blue, that thing. There you go. The blue one. Yeah, and see so this right one's there. got the gray peg. <laughs> there you go. Shield. I feel like we can turn him. It's his turn. Yeah, the sword is definitely awesome. There you go. There we go. And then you have all the other accessories that you get to just put on the little stand. So many too. Like, let's see, that's look at them all it's like at least four so like cannons and everything like that blasters yeah. where's the genius who <laughs> thought of like this, this plastic to hold everything down like that all right let's see oh, there's that. the angry face wouldn't that be in which one we have his angry face we have this one i guess this goes on the back of one of the lions uh oh like a rocket launcher no this one's definitely going with missiles that come out let's see what else we got it's a lot of damage what is a lot of damage? yeah well, this this one goes on to the side i think of on you know, the green one goes does anything go on like the little like uh gold little grommets there aj probably on, on, like these ones right here like on the hips there i assume so i wonder so, what we put there yeah, this one's a circular oh, pen. box. No, no, it looks like it's just the gold grommets. <laughs> oh, you also get these cool little <laughs> little plaque right here. So then you get it. Uh, yeah, you can do right either here. Gold Lion or Voltron, right? Yeah. Just when you like the word Voltron or <laughs> in its Japanese. Uh, I'll name. go with Voltron. All right. But I think I'm going crazy here. Oh, no. <laughs> it's possible. Because, like, the way this shield has it in these instructions. I don't see how this goes into. So in the picture, the, it almost makes it look like it's like straight out from the lion's mouth. Okay, because I'm only the the hole for the peg is on the roof of his mouth. Uh huh. And it wouldn't. This is how I'm picturing it in my head, how it would look. Uh -huh. <laughs> but the peg is on this side, so I don't understand the logic behind that. So you're gonna have to look at that because <laughs> I do not possess the brain power to like solve AJ that puzzle. Fix it. Let's see. Uh huh. But so, oh, oh, oh. this is why we do look. the live unboxing. Oh, it turns. It's it swivels. Okay. okay. And you could have That's it a horse the way of a you different want. Color. Yeah. Oh man. I was like, <laughs> this isn't working. So on that, in the instructions, the little handle is a slightly uh, paler color. And it has a little green arrow that says, like, hey, I swivel. Um, yeah. Always keep your instructions book clear. Just goes to show that we do do this live. Yeah. Where all those people thought we <laughs> did it beforehand. Yeah. yeah. Do it live. Always do it live. It's more fun that way. Uh, the sword and shield are plastic. What? So we can learn together. Great. And the short sword and shield are both plastic, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Be a heavy little 
Oh, Ooh. no. But what I was going to show is that you can actually turn the waist go. so it can actually move more like a human's arm would, you know? So it makes more sense. Your cross guard came off. I saw that. Thank you. You're welcome. Whoa, that's see. cool. So this little base right here has like these little pegs underneath that you can pull off. And so this little peg goes on the back of like the lion's head, like it's popping off. And then so you put like a Tamashi uh, arm right there, like the uh, stage axe. Mm -hmm. And then you could put it on the lion so it looks like it's coming off. Like, like it shot it? off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Try the Tamashi arm somewhere around here. Justin was just wondering if he could shoot that off. I know we do have a couple of these. It dropped something. Oh, no. Did you? Oh, you picked no, it up. Picked right. it up. Oh, okay. Picked up your shield. Yeah. Oh, man. That'd be so cool to display. Coming, AJ. All right. Oh, he's one yeah, arm. He's one yeah. arm. We just need the arm. It's going to be so cool. Let's see, so this is a little too big for it, but. Ah! Justin likes shooting fists. Did it hurt you? Yeah. Did you get, <laughs> get battle damage on you? Stab myself. Well, that shows you the durability of the figure. It, it was figure versus Justin and figure one. Yeah. I, I lied. I might want an actual base. <laughs> the base, too. <laughs> Whatever you want, AJ. Oh man. Here's a bait here. I'll trade you. Give me okay, the I will I will give you this. Cool. Good enough you said we weren't prepared. Right. <laughs> you just learn cool new things, you know. There you go. As you look at this and then you look at the instructions, you'll learn some cool stuff. That looks pretty awesome. Oh, I wish I would have cool. bought one. You still can't. Yeah, no, I can't. Because because available. <laughs> my wife my wife's tolerance. Has a limit. There's a lot <laughs> no. of there's a lot of a lot of lot of lot of things I need that, that I want to buy that I don't need to buy. So that's the move that he does. Pick, and like, pick my paddles. Oh, the one that's like on the back. He's, got, he's like pointing the shield at one. It's like in the in the show where he'll, he'll point the shield on, and then that's he'll... on the box or on this instructions. Let's see. Yeah, right there. Yeah, it's on the box. From on the heart, box. I can't, I can't, it. I can't see it. Let's see. Oh. When in doubt, consult the box, right? <laughs> That's our motto. Oh, yeah. So he's got it like these. Like a dot. Looking that way. I'm yes. going to get you. I'm going to get you, sucker. <laughs> he's like Brad Pitt in Thor. In, yeah. I'm Thor and Troy. <laughs> yeah. About to do the jump move. Yeah. His finishing move. My arm. There you go. Nice. And then, so again, on this base, you have this little blue or whatever color it says, blue gray. I'd say, I'd say blue. <laughs> yeah, you can put Slate. a little peg right here, and then you can connect it to the to the arm. Oh, nice. Yeah. What does that do? So if it looks like it's shooting, launching. You know, oh, like, shooting the hand. Yeah. So you just get okay. like a bunch of stuff to stack it. It was never an impressive projectile when you <laughs> it it had like a really short uh -huh. three inch like arc. Yeah, I think one of the cool things that I think you just demonstrated was that. You're gonna get your get your go lion, uh, and it's gonna take a while to set it up. So you get to you know play with it and be tactile with it and mm -hmm. interact with it. It's not you know so so often we get things that we just kind of take out of the box, put on a shelf, and forget about it. To where uh, you know this is kind of a kind of a fun little project. Yeah, you know, take like a like a lazy Sunday or something like that while you're watching TV or something. And like, I'm gonna play with my Voltron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even on the instructions, take off the blues head, and you could use it look like it's kicking. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's intense. Cool. I remember. Um, the top part of this head, of the blue head, popped up and it shot a little yellow, mm -hmm. uh, tiny, tiny missile that you were going to lose two seconds after you did the projectile. <laughs> hey, we got Jorge from Peru in the house. Hey, Perfect. Jorge. It would disappear into the dark void yeah, where the... all my pencils from school <laughs> have disappeared to. Right. The ether. The toy yeah. ether. Oh, man. Well, that's it. That's the figure. It's pretty Ooh, cool. Here's Fighting Words. Uh, Nike says Gundam over Voltron. I mean, sure. depends. How I, don't, I don't know if I want to start the holy war in this chat, but <laughs> yeah. I might be, I might you like what you like, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. I'm always for the one who's more uh, mobile, <laughs> agile, like whatever uh, seems faster to me. But you know, I'd be wrong, and I've been wrong several times. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> I'm there, wrong every day of my I life. I was wrong <laughs> five for five. <laughs> right. <laughs> There were a lot of questions about how articulated the arms and legs are. Can you sure. uh, kind of give us an idea of 
you know, they look pretty articulated. Yeah, so uh, they're locked into this shoulder mechanism. So you can keep this piece steady and then just move the the lion as you see fit. Um, and then you can, it twists and turns. Uh, excuse me. It was dangling off the edge from when we oh, okay. had that before. Well, this I mean, you can just pop his head back in. That's fine, too. Okay. The sword's now the sword. It's moved. Yeah. Now sure. there are two of them. Uh, but basically, uh, the lion can go. You can turn it any way you need to. This the elbow can can twist a complete 360 and go around. So whatever you need it to do to act more like uh, like a human arm uh, works. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you shot it with the sword. There you but go. Sometimes you just chuck the sword with the hand. It's actually pretty incredible. Um, Seems like a tactical mistake, AJ. It actually has quite a bit of range of motion. Uh, obviously, you can do... You can oh, Hold on. That piece we want to keep straight. But we can turn the arm however you want it to go. Go up, go down, have the elbow go in, mm -hmm. have the elbow go out. You can have it bench pressing, twist it this way. <laughs> Doing some curls, doing some reps, taking like the it. gun shell. But basically, everything can turn. So if you wanted to have it basically do this motion, do this motion, whatever you want, it can do. Like a normal action figure. Uh, you just you have the luxury of the ratchets yeah, to make it stiff. And since it's a robot and not a person, it can hyperextend and everything. And yes. no harm. No harm, yeah. no foul. I can't do what it just did. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't I, go I, in a complete circle? No. I like the articulation of because... You know, I like that the arm can go that way, but like also go into a curve with like the side with the hips and everything. Because usually, like older toys back then, it's just simple like arm goes up, arm goes, arm down. goes down, leg yeah. slightly goes up, leg comes back down. So it's nice to see all the articulation that comes with uh, these new, uh, you know, collectibles and figures. Right. And this is the part that you can, I was trying to show uh, basically where your, mm -hmm. where the arm meets the elbow. Or the bicep meets the elbow that can turn 360, so you can literally use that to to dictate how you want the figure to. He needs to block an attack from backwards. It just he can do, he can do that. <laughs> yeah, so that's the hyperextend that you're talking about. Works pretty well, um, but awesome. yeah, it's great. Yeah, it looks. And then there's good. if you turn this elbow even more, then you can do mm -hmm. sort of the pumping iron. <laughs> and the green head comes off as well. It does. Oh man, so you could just launch it with the shield in hand and you could like block an attack. And one thing I didn't notice before was that the black lion's tail can actually wiggle left and right too, not just up and down. <laughs> How about that? I mean, now I was on the fence, but now I'm definitely right? going to buy it now that I know that the, the tail wags. That's... Yeah, so when Voltron's happy, you know, <laughs> the tail <laughs> will wag just a bit. We never see it from the back, but when he takes out the sword and kills someone, I bet, I bet, I bet it's wag. <laughs> <Tail's wagging. laughs> Oh, Voltron was super happy about yep. it. <laughs> He's like, "Oh man, just made my day. I just destroyed there's a, someone." There's a there's a war in the comments. Now we're talking Ultron versus Zords versus Gunpla versus everything. Oh my goodness! Maybe also, like, you can take off this hilt too. You know? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, why do they got to fight? Why can't they just? Uh, oh, they're not really fighting. Just establish a dialogue and just be like, "Hey, could be." Little... All of these shows we're talking about would be very boring shows if. They just sat down at a table and, and talked. A conversation. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, a lot could be solved probably yeah. through diplomacy, but it's much more fun to see giant robots fighting other mm -hmm. giant robots, or mech suits, or mobile suits, or Eva Avas, mm -hmm. yeah. whatever they're piloting. Speaking <laughs> of robots, did you see the the? It's like um, Super Robot Wars coming uh, out. Yeah, I know. Like uh, our good buddy Nam is super excited for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe if we uh, we get to talk about that game. <laughs> We should have a stream of that game. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. I just I can't I can't see. To put the sword. <laughs> the You're on the right side. If you could just, he's got that little piece in his mouth there. Yeah. So we he's got a this. pivot. Yeah. It's it's but pegged blue I'm very it. happy with this figure. I'm super excited. I can't wait to take it home and put it on my shelf and pose it one time and then walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Since apparently that is what people do. Yeah, I bet you. I could see you ever so often just going back between uh lion and voltron form yeah it's for funsies it doesn't take long that's for sure uh which go. is encouraging and the lions would look pretty cool displayed ne on next to like the the collection of weapons right because the big sword goes right across the top mm -hmm. that would look really cool super cool take all right back. well final thoughts justin love it it is a 10 out of 10 figure for me very excited uh, yeah. i think nostalgia might have a a lot to do with that, Dave, but uh, very pumped about this figure. 
And uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm how, gonna how go much home. Better is it than the one you owned in the eighties? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say. I, I know I had fun with mine in the eighties, but uh, it's definitely more cool as an adult to be able to mm-hmm. to play with it and bring it to work. <laughs> Have a fun desk toy, yeah. as it were. What about you, AJ? You were just playing around with Justin's uh, Justin's toy. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on it? I am Loki Jelly with this. <laughs> it is a. Uh, it's really cool. I like it, and I will say, I think it is better than the you know the older toys from back then because you know technology is advanced. So again, the articulation changes. There's a different range of mobility. The legs, I guess, like look at this. The knee bends, but not only that, like this swivels as yeah, well. The whole coming so, in yeah, and out. The, yeah. So I, you know the 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 waist extending. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tamashi is uh, they're on point with all with their. The technology when it comes to their toys. This is unbelievable. I don't know who's thinking it <laughs> in the R and D. Like it'll be really cool. Pop it off, <laughs> right? Yeah, I know. I think about that sometimes. Like just the the R and D that go that's involved uh-huh. with with designing a toy and what's gonna work. And and they're like, well, what if it has? You know, the the planning phase is what if it has this and what if it has that? What if it can do this? And then the designer's uh-huh. like. I like that. Idea. <laughs> you expect me to do what? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna need capes. It's gonna need to have projectiles and blah blah blah. And so that's one of the cool things. That's basically a miracle of toys that that have a that a combining robot or mm-hmm. a transformer. Uh, there's a lot that's involved with it, and it's always impressive. I like to think the designers are telling, or they're telling the designer, "I want it to make clicky click noises." And he's right. like, "What does that mean?" <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and then Toko, Texas, you missed it. Uh, Justin whipped a ruler out of seemingly nowhere and measured it. It was a little over eleven and a half inches tall yeah. to the top of the head. Obviously, the the wings and sword go significantly higher than that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you're at about. He's kind of crouched a little bit, so yeah, eleven and a half inches. I would say from uh, from foot to top of head. Yeah. Pull that ruler like Voltron now with the sword. It's like the Highlander TV show where this guy's wearing like a t-shirt and shorts and then all of a sudden, oh. wham, I got this <laughs> full-blown sword. No big deal. That's that inventory of video games, you know? <laughs> yeah, like Link. Where does he keep all that yeah, raft? Where, where and you keep everything. Boomerang and where the jar Justin, of Justin knows the secret. Yeah. Well, nice. Well, no, it's exciting. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm very pumped about it, Dave. Thank you for bringing your figure in for show and tell today. Yeah, thank you for allowing <laughs> me to do that. Yeah. AJ will have to bring something for the classroom next week. Oh man, it's the AJ's turn, and then my turn's boring because it'll be something stupid. So well, we got something tomorrow, so we can watch you 3D print something. Oh, I'll bring in the 3D printer, <laughs> and we'll you can watch me like prime it and sand it and smooth out the print lines. Yeah. Oh, it'll be zero people in the stream sounds, after like three minutes. Sounds like a lot of fun, Dave. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I, I'm detecting a tone. No, no, no. I just imagine like the dot matrix print sounds. Just <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not as far off as you think. <laughs> it's not that, but yeah. it's like it's definitely like it's almost like someone smoothed out that sound in like post production. Like, right. Uh... It, it is funny how we like to uh, articulate things through sound. Like if you ever had to take your car to a mechanic and like, oh, what's wrong with it? And then you just describe the sounds that you're hearing. What do you know about cars? Right. I'm hearing a clunk, clunk, clunk <laughs> down there at that spot. Right. Oh, Jobin's got a clue. I'll bring in some Akbar stuff. I got, lo- I got lots of Akbar stuff. There you oh, go. There you go. Do you have a Meisho Akbar? Because that would be really I cool. I gotta break my hair like that. <laughs> I gotta play me like that. You so, know that if it existed, I would have it. I seen one. I, it exists. There's one on this planet. I don't think you're asking Tomashi hard enough. If that ends up being the only one on the planet, it will be mine. Yeah, I will own the prototype if the if the figure does not get produced. Make, Hopefully, it gets produced. Make it happen, crossed. Captain. Big we just need them to stop making Mandalorian stuff because Mandalorian's new hotness. We need Admiral Akbar. Obviously, it's cooler than than anyone in Mandalorian. Sure, according to one person on this planet, he's the guy that got sucked out into space, right? <laughs> he did get sucked out into space. We don't talk about that. Yeah. The less said about that, the better. Yeah. Well, thank you, Justin, for bringing in your toy. Uh, it was amazing to watch you put it together. I can't wow. wait to see the Blitzway one in comparison to it when it comes in. So, thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, we will have our normally scheduled Bluefin hangout tomorrow, and it's going to be all about what, Justin? It's going to be about Storm Collectibles. We have Kung Lao. He's yeah. sitting on that table over there. And I'm very excited to play with that and possibly another figure to show Ooh. off. Oh, secret, secret. It is, and I can see the figure. It's right there, <laughs> both of them. It'll yeah. be fun. And I we have a fun it. game planned. Oh. Sort of. Is I, it a Rico Pons too? Well, we just, oh. I, I wasn't expecting to do a Storm Collectibles live stream tomorrow. So that's why I jumped the gun and did a Rico Pons last week. If you guys want another Rico Pons, we can do that, or I can come up with another game. I think Rico Pons is always fun. You know, like I think chat's always fast at <laughs> guessing it, but. Sometimes they're not. 
and I think it's fun for us because we get cool names. Like, what did we get? Uh, Bill Nito. Yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm worried that we did all of the characters everybody knows in the first iteration of Rico Bonds. That's true. There was 10 yes. out of 100 or 91 characters. Well, you can have the same characters with a different name this time. That's true. It could be Rico yeah, Pons. It's an brother, anagram. Like okay. Pico. Well, it's up to you. I, I, I have a lot of different game options. Mm-hmm. So. All right. Well, cool. Well, the, make sure to join us tomorrow at noon Pacific Daylight Time. It's only going to be that way for a couple more weeks before Daylight Savings Time comes up. <laughs> I think up that changes can... Sunday. Is it this Sunday? I think so. It was even... Sunday. All right. So this will be the last one at noon PDT. After that, it'll go return to noon PST. Yes. <laughs> Just to make things confusing. <laughs> for savings. I, 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 <laughs> but uh, make sure to keep up with us at Bluefin, at Bluefin Brands across all our social platforms. If you're watching us on YouTube, please hit a subscribe, a like, leave us a comment, whatever you can do to help us in the algorithm. Because uh, if you like the content, we want to give you more of it. So thank you so much for all of your help. Thanks for watching the video. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.